The Marina Kingdom, or Kingdom of Madagascar, officially the Kingdom of Imarina C. was a pre-colonial state off the coast of Southeast Africa that, by the 19th century, dominated most of what is now Madagascar. It spread outward from Imarina, the central highlands region primarily inhabited by the Marina ethnic group with a spiritual capital at Ambohamanga and a political capital 24 kilometers 15 miles west at Antananarivo, currently the seat of government for the modern state of Madagascar. The Marina kings and queens who ruled over Greater Madagascar in the 19th century were the descendants of a long line of hereditary Marina royalty originating with Andrea Manello, who is traditionally credited with founding Imarina in 1540. History Hova Vazimba conflict Madagascar's central highlands were first inhabited between 200 BCE to 300 CE by the island's earliest settlers, the Vazimba, who appear to have arrived by pirogue from southeastern Borneo to establish simple villages in the island's dense forests. By the 15th century the Hova people from the southeastern coast had gradually migrated into the central highlands where they established hilltop villages interspersed among the existing Vazimba settlements, which were ruled by local kings and queens. The two peoples coexisted peacefully for several generations and are known to have intermarried. In this way, a reigning Vazimba queen alternately given in the oral histories as Rafui or Rangita married a Hova man named Manilobe. Their oldest son, Andrea Manello (1540–1575), broke this tradition by launching a largely successful war to subjugate the surrounding Vazimba communities and force them to either submit to Hova dominance and assimilate, or flee. Andrea Manello was succeeded by his son Rolambo (1575–1612), whose many enduring and significant political and cultural achievements earned him a heroic and near mythical status among the greatest ancient sovereigns of Marina history. Rolambo was the first to assign the name of Imarina, land of the Marina people, to the central highland territories where he ruled. Rolambo expanded and defended the kingdom of Imarina through a combination of diplomacy and successful military action aided by the procurement of the first firearms in Imarina by way of trade with kingdoms on the coast. Imposing a capitation tax for the first time the Vedanena, or price of secure life. He was able to establish the first standing Marina Royal Army and established units of blacksmiths and silversmiths to equip them. He famously repelled an attempted invasion by an army of the powerful western coastal Betsimisaraka people. According to oral history, the wild zebu cattle that roamed the highlands were first domesticated for food in Imarina under the reign of Rolambo, and he introduced the practice and design of cattle pen construction, as well as the traditional ceremony of the Fandroana, the royal bath. To celebrate his culinary discovery, upon succeeding his father, Andrian Jaka (1612–1630), led a successful military campaign to capture the final major Vazimba stronghold in the highlands on the hill of Analamanga. There, he established the fortified compound Rova that would form the heart of his new capital city of Antananarivo. Upon his orders, the first structures within this fortified compound, known as the Rova of Antananarivo, were constructed. Several traditional royal houses were built, and plans for a series of royal tombs were designed. These buildings took on an enduring political and spiritual significance, ensuring their preservation until being destroyed by fire in 1995. Andrian Jaka obtained a sizable cache of firearms and gunpowder, materials that helped to establish and preserve his dominance and expand his rule over Greater Imarina. <laughs> Expansion of sovereignty Political life on the island from the 16th century was characterized by sporadic conflict between the Marina and Sakalava kingdoms, originating with Sakalava slave hunting incursions into Imarina. <laughs> Division and civil war King Andrea Masinavalona quartered the kingdom to be ruled by his four favorite sons, producing persistent fragmentation and warfare between principalities in Imarina. He extended the borders of the kingdom to their largest historical extent prior to the kingdom's fragmentation. Reunification 
It was from this context in 1787 that Prince Rambosalama, nephew of King Andrian Jaffe of Ambohamanga one of the four kingdoms of Imarina expelled his uncle and took the throne under the name Andrianampoinimarina. The new king used both diplomacy and force to reunite Imarina with the intent to bring all of Madagascar under his rule. Kingdom of Madagascar This objective was largely completed under his son, Radama I, who was the first to admit and regularly engage European missionaries and diplomats in Antananarivo. The 33-year reign of Queen Rana Valona I, the widow of Radama I, was characterized by a struggle to preserve the cultural isolation of Madagascar from modernity, especially as represented by the French and British. Her son and heir, King Radama II, signed the unpopular Lambert Charter giving French entrepreneur Joseph-François Lambert exclusive rights to many of the island's resources. His liberal policies angered the aristocracy, however, and Prime Minister Rainavonina Hitrinyani had the king strangled in a coup d'état. This aristocratic revolution saw Rasorina, the Queen Dowager, placed on the throne upon her acceptance of a constitutional monarchy that gave greater power to the Prime Minister. She replaced the incumbent prime minister with his brother, Rainalayarivani, who retained the role for three decades and married each successive queen. The next sovereign, Ranavalona II, converted the nation to Christianity and had all the Sampi ancestral royal talismans burnt in a public display. The last Marina sovereign, Queen Ranavalona III, exceeded the throne at age 22 and was exiled to Réunion Island and later French Algeria following French colonization of the island in 1896. Topic. French colonization Angry at the cancellation of the Lambert Charter and seeking to restore property taken from French citizens, France invaded Madagascar in 1883 in what became known as the First Franco-Hova War Hova referring to the Andriana. At the war's end, Madagascar ceded Ansaranana Diego Suarez on the northern coast to France and paid 560,000 gold francs to the heirs of Joseph-François Lambert. Meanwhile, in Europe, diplomats partitioning the African continent worked out an agreement whereby Britain, in order to obtain the Sultanate of Zanzibar, ceded its rights over Heligoland to the German Empire and renounced all claims to Madagascar in favour of France. The agreement proved detrimental for the monarchy of Madagascar. Prime Minister Rainalayarivari had succeeded in playing Great Britain and France against one another, but now France could meddle without fear of reprisals from Britain. In 1895, a French flying column landed in Mahajanga and marched by way of the Betsiboka River to the capital, Antananarivo, taking the city's defenders by surprise since they had expected an attack from the much closer eastern coast. Twenty French soldiers died in combat while 6,000 died of malaria and other diseases before the Second Franco-Hova War ended. In 1896, the Marina Kingdom was put under French protection as the Malagasy Protectorate and in 1897 the French Parliament voted to annex the island as a colony, effectively ending Marina sovereignty. Geography Spatial organization Andrea Manello established the first fortified rova royal compound at his capital at Alasora. This fortified palace bore specific features, hadivery dry moats, hadifet sea defensive trenches and vavahadi town gates protected by a large rolled stone disc acting as a barrier that rendered the town more resistant to Vazimba attacks. Andrianjaka's policies and tactics highlighted and increased the separation between the king and his subjects. He transformed social divisions into spatial divisions by assigning each clan to a specific geographical region within his kingdom. Andrianjaka unified the principalities on what he later designated as the Twelve Sacred Hills of Imarina at Ambohitratrimo, Ambohimanga, Alafi, Alasora, Antsahadita, Ambohimanambani, Analamanga, Ambohitrabibi, Namahana, Ambohidrapeto, Ambohiafi, and Amboamandranjaka. 
These hills became and remain the spiritual heart of Imerina, which was further expanded over a century later when Andrianampoinimerina redesignated the twelve sacred hills to include several different sites. Under Andriamasinavalona, the kingdom of Imerina was composed of six provinces Toko, Avaradrano, constituting Antananarivo and land to the northeast of the capital, including Ambohamanga, Vacanasaseoni, including the land to the south of Avaradrano and its capital at Alasora, Vanazongo to the northwest of Antananarivo with its capital at Fihanana, Marovatana to the south of Vanazongo, with its capital at Ambohydratramo, Ambodirano, south of Marovatana with its capital at Fenorivo, and Vakanankaratra to the south of Antananarivo with its capital at Betafo. Andrianampoinimarina reunited these provinces and added Amamo to the west, which has been described by some historians as having been incorporated into Ambodirano, and by others as separate from it, and Valalafatsi to the northwest. Together, these areas constitute the core territory rightly called Imarina, the homeland of the Marina people. <laughs> <laughs> Social organization Caste <laughs> 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 system Andrea Manello was reportedly the first to formally establish the Andriana as a caste of marina nobles, thereby laying the foundation for a stratified and structured society. From this point forward, the term hova was used to refer only to the non-noble free people of the society which would later be renamed marina by Andrea Manello's son Rolambo. The first subdivisions of the Andriana noble caste were created when Rolambo split it into four ranks. Andrianjaka was the first king to be buried on the grounds of the Rova of Antananarivo, his tomb forming the first of the Fitamiandalana, seven tombs placed in a row on the Rova grounds. To commemorate his greatness, his subjects erected a small wooden house called a small sacred house on top of his tomb. Future marina sovereigns and nobles continued to construct similar tomb houses on their tombs well into the 19th century. Religion Andrea Manello is credited with introducing astrology in Imerina. The Marina Rite of Circumcision, described by Bloch in great detail, continued to be practiced by the Marina monarchy through the end of the 19th century in precisely the way first established by Andrea Manello generations before. Many elements of these rituals continue to form part of the circumcision traditions of marina families in the 21st century. The origins of these practices can be traced back to the southeastern part of the island that the Hova had left behind as they migrated into the central highlands. Astrology, for instance, had been introduced early to the island by way of trade contacts between coastal Malagasy communities and Arab seafarers. Under Andrea Manolo's son Rolambo, the sovereign became imbued with increasing power to protect the realm. This was preserved by honoring the Sampi, traditional amulets made from assorted natural materials. Amulets and idols called Odi had long occupied an important place among many ethnic groups of Madagascar, but these were believed to offer protection to the individual wearer only and were commonplace objects possessed by anyone from slave children to kings. After Rolambo received a highly powerful Sampi called Kalimalaza that was distinguished by its supposed capacity to extend protection to an entire community, he sought out and amassed a total of twelve others from communities across Imerina believed to have such a quality. These Sampi were personified—complete with a distinct personality—and offered their own house with guardians dedicated to their service. Rolambo then transformed the nature of the relationship between Sampi and ruler, whereas previously the Sampi had been seen as tools at the disposal of community leaders, under Rolambo they became divine protectors of the king's sovereignty and the integrity of the state, which would be preserved through their power on the condition that the line of sovereigns ensured the Sampi were shown the respect due to them. By collecting the twelve greatest Sampi—12 being a sacred number in marina cosmology— and transforming their nature, Rolambo strengthened the supernatural power and legitimacy of the royal line of Imerina. Oral history recounts numerous instances where Sampi were taken into battle, and subsequent successes and varying miracles were attributed to them, including several key victories against Sakalava marauders. The propagation of similar Sampi at the service of less powerful citizens consequently increased throughout Imerina under Rolambo's rule. Nearly every village chief, as well as many common families, had one in their possession and claimed the powers and protection their communal Sampi offered them. 
These lesser Sampi were destroyed or reduced to the status of Odi by the end of the reign of Rolambo's son, Andrian Jaka, officially leaving only twelve truly powerful Sampi known as the Sampanandriana, the royal Sampi, which were all in the possession of the king. These royal Sampi, including Kalimalaza, continued to be worshipped until their supposed destruction in a bonfire by Queen Rana Valona II upon her public conversion to Christianity in 1869. Also beginning under Rolambo, the ritual sanctification of the realm occurred through the annual Fandroana festival at the start of each year. Although the precise form of the original holiday cannot be known with certainty and its traditions have evolved over time, 18th and 19th century accounts provide insight into the festival as it was practiced at that time. Accounts from these centuries indicate that all family members were required to reunite in their home villages during the festival period. Estranged family members were expected to attempt to reconcile. Homes were cleaned and repaired and new housewares and clothing were purchased. The symbolism of renewal was particularly embodied in the traditional sexual permissiveness encouraged on the eve of the Fandroana characterized by early 19th century British missionaries as an orgy, and the following morning's return to rigid social order with the sovereign firmly at the helm of the kingdom. On this morning, the first day of the year, a red rooster was traditionally sacrificed and its blood used to anoint the sovereign and others present at the ceremony. Afterward the sovereign would bathe in sanctified water, then sprinkle it upon attendees to purify and bless them and ensure an auspicious start to the year. Children would celebrate the Fandroana by carrying lighted torches and lanterns in a nighttime processional through their villages. The zebu meat even over the course of the festival was primarily grilled or consumed as yaka, a preparation reserved uniquely for this holiday. This delicacy was made during the festival by sealing shredded zebu meat with suet in a decorative clay jar. The confit would then be conserved in an underground pit for 12 months to be served at the next year's Fandroana. Customs The marriage tradition of the Vodiandri, still practiced to this day throughout the highlands, is said to have originated with Andriamanello. According to oral history, after the sovereign had successfully contracted a marriage with Ramesoanela, sole daughter of Vazimba King Rabibi, Andriamanello sent her a variety of gifts including vodiandri, meat from the hindquarters of a sheep, which he believed to be the tastiest portion. The value placed on this cut of meat was reaffirmed by Rolambo who, upon discovering the edibility of zebu meat, declared the hindquarters of every slaughtered zebu throughout the kingdom to be his royal due. From the time of Andriamanello forward, it became a marriage tradition for the groom to offer Vodiandri to the bride's family. Over time the customary offerings of meat have been increasingly replaced by a symbolic piastri, sums of money and other gifts. Andriamanello's son Rolambo is credited with introducing the tradition of polygamy in Imerina. He also introduced the traditions of circumcision and family intermarriage such as between parent and stepchild or between half siblings among marina nobles these practices having already existed among certain other Malagasy ethnic groups according to oral history the institution of lengthy formal mourning periods for deceased sovereigns in Imerina may also have begun with the death of Andrian Jaka he was succeeded by his son Andrian Sataka Tradriana Political organization The line of succession in Imarina used a system called Fanjakana Arindra, organized government, which was established by the Vazimba noblewomen who raised Andrea Manello, founder of Imarina. While the Vazimba had historically tended to favor rule by queens, the Hova favored male heirs, and the marriage between Andrea Manolo's Vazimba and Hova parents had produced two sons and a daughter. To prevent conflict, the queen decided that Andrea Manello would inherit the crown upon his mother's death and would be succeeded not by his own child but by his younger brother. This system of succession was ordered by the queens to be followed for all time, and applied to families as well. In any instance where there was an elder child and a younger one, the parents would designate an elder child to assume authority within the family upon their death, and that authority would be handed to the designated younger child in the event of the death of the elder child. Rolambo was the first Marina sovereign to practice polygamy, and his second wife was the first to give him a son. 
While his younger son by his first wife was to rule, Rolambo sought to assuage the elder son by declaring that the crown could henceforth only be passed to a child born of the reigning sovereign and a princess from the elder son Andrian Tampakoindrindra's family line. The practice of sanctifying deceased Marina sovereigns is believed to have originated with Rolambo. Imarina was initially ruled under Andrea Manello from his mother's home village of Alasora. The capital was shifted by his son Rolambo to Ambohidrabibi, location of the former capital of his maternal grandfather King Rabibi. Andrianjaka moved his capital from Ambohidrabibi to Ambohamanga upon ascending to the throne around 1610 or 1612. The Besakana, Masoandrasiroa and Fitamayandalana houses at the Rova of Antananarivo were preserved and maintained over the centuries by successive generations of marina sovereigns, imbuing the structures with deep symbolic and spiritual meaning. As Andrianjaka's residence, the Besakana was particularly significant. The original building was torn down and reconstructed in the same design by Andrea Masinavolona around 1680, and again by Andrianampoinimarina in 1800, each of whom inhabited the building in turn as their personal residence. King Radama I likewise inhabited the building for much of his time at the Rova, and in 1820 he designated the building as the first site to house what came to be known as the Palace School, the first formal European-style school in Imarina. Sovereigns were enthroned in this building and their mortal remains were displayed here before burial, rendering Besakana the official state room for civil affairs regarded as the throne of the kingdom. Topic. Defense The early marina fighters under the first king of Imarina were equipped with iron-tipped spears, an innovation credited to Andrea Manello himself, who may have been the first among the Hova to use smithed iron in this way. Topic. Justice system Andrian Jaka imposed an intimidating change to the traditional form of justice, the trial by ordeal, rather than administering tangina poison to an accused person's rooster to determine their innocence by the creature's survival, the poison would instead be ingested by the accused himself. <laughs> <laughs> economy and trade Andrea Manello was the first in the highlands to transform lowland swamps into irrigated rice paddies through the construction of dikes in the valleys around Alasora. Under Andrian Jaka, the plains surrounding Antananarivo were gradually transformed into vast, surplus-producing rice paddies. This feat was accomplished by mobilizing large numbers of his able-bodied subjects to construct dikes that enabled the redirection of rainwater for controlled flooding of planted areas. Andrian Jaka was reportedly the first marina leader to receive Europeans around 1620 and traded slaves in exchange for guns and other firearms to aid in the pacification of rival principalities, obtaining 50 guns and three barrels of gunpowder to equip his army. Technology Andrea Manello is traditionally credited with discovering the technique of silversmithing, iron smithing and the construction and use of pierogues. While these technologies were not discovered during his reign, Andrea Manello may have been among the first sovereigns in Imarina to make wide-scale use of them. See also List of Imarina monarchs